Let's explore the My Data tab. Once you have gone to the research management link found on the Fix Share Lib Guide located on the library's website, and you have logged in using your LSU credentials, you will see the My Data tab. This is where you can upload your data. In order to upload your data, the first thing you're going to need to do is locate your data set. Then check your file format to make sure the file format type is one accepted by Figshare. Once you have made sure of this, you are then going to take the file and you are going to drag it to drag files to upload. As you can see here, the file has now been uploaded. You can browse other files or other folders to upload. You can link to external files and set as metadata record. For the item title, I'm going to change the title to Heroes. For the group, is going to be LSU Shreveport. Selecting a different group will result in a different set of metadata fields. For the item type, you have figure, media, data set, poster, presentation, preprint, conference contribution. For this data set, I'm of course going to choose data set because that's what it is. Let me hit apply changes. As you can see, the authors field has my name. You can search for authors by name, full email, or ORCID ID. Categories are as follows. Chemical sciences, biomedical and clinical sciences, health sciences, as well as education, information and computing sciences, as well as the physical sciences. For this project, I'm going to choose creative arts and writing. For keywords, I'm going to use Marvel, DC, sci-fi, and image. I'm going to hit the enter key so that way the keywords populate. This is to make sure that your data is easily discoverable. For the description, I'm going to type in superheroes by publisher and alignment. The next section is funding. You can search by grant name or number or add your own. You can add related materials and choose your license. On the right side of the page, you have your item actions, such as add an embargo. You can share with private link. Disable it and re-enable it. You can manage identifiers. You can manage persistent identifiers of your item. Um, this link will always lead to the research output regardless of the domain. You can reserve a DOI or use a pre-existing based on your institutional settings. This DOI becomes active when the item is published and once active, the DOI cannot be disabled anymore. You can edit your timeline by version and online publication date. You can add a custom thumbnail by dragging or dropping an image to upload. You can preview the item as seen here, or you can delete the item. You will then save changes, item changes saved successfully, and then you would submit for review. In order to publish this item, it'll then be submitted to review to be reviewed by Karen Watson or Jared Sawyer. And by proceeding, you will also make this item public, permanently available, and agreeing to the terms. And this content will be licensed as. And then you would submit it for review.